Hey, what's up? Pizza Wolfing Nerd here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Bliss OS. So, um, Bliss OS is an Android based distro, um, sort of like Remix OS, even though that's discontinued. And in my opinion, it's the best alternative to Remix OS. Now, I know there's Phoenix OS and OpenThos. It's just, um, I tried installing both of those, but there's one minor issue, and it's the fact that, um, they're from China. While being a distro from China isn't a bad thing, there's some good distros I can think of from China, like Deepin. Um, there's one issue with those, with both of those distros. One, they it, they uh, don't have Google Play services, which means there's no Play Store. And two, there is no. Sometimes there's a bug. Um, I've installed all three of or all both of them multiple times, in once on both times I installed it, um, on both distros I mean, once on both distros I had an instance where even though I set it to English it was showing a Chinese keyboard instead of an English keyboard. So when I was trying to type it was turning into Chinese characters. Um, this only happened to me once but it happened on both distros so it could be a, um, I guess it's a common issue um, on both distros where sometimes it will give you Chinese characters when you're trying to install it. Um, I mean the um, after the installation. But um, so we're gonna install Bliss OS now, enough rambling. Um, so all you need is a USB drive with Bliss OS on it. Um, so for example I um, the easiest way to burn it is to download the Bliss OS ISO, um, download a program called Rosa Image Editor and then um, burn it using that. That's how I burnt this. Um, this USB drive. So yeah, so just the first step is you're going to want to plug in the USB to your computer. Now the next step is you're going to want to make sure your computer is in UEFI mode and not legacy boot. Once you've got done those two steps, um, I already know this is a UEFI computer, you're just going to want to hit the boot button and then spam whatever key opens up um, bootable drives. So for me it's F12 on this computer. That's how you open up bootable drives. Whew. And th once that opens up, mine takes a while for some reason. Here we go. Um, just select your USB drive. So yeah. Now you'll get a screen that looks like this. As you can see it's got live debug mode installation in Windows. Um, if you want to try the the OS to make sure it works properly before you install, choose live. However, if you're ready to install it, choose installation because you cannot install it off of the live disk. Now it will boot. Now it will give you this. Select a disk partition to install Android x86. Um, we're going to click on create and modify partitions and then choose your hard drive that you're installing it on. Mine's SDA1. And then do you want to use GPT? Um, the answer to that is yes. We do want to use GPT. So now you'll get something that looks like this. You want to remove anything that isn't free space. To do this, navigate to the hard drive using up and down arrows and then select delete down here using the left and right arrows. Once so you've deleted everything, you want to click on new, hit enter, hit enter again, um, and then enter again and then you'll get this or actually I messed something up you want to do new enter and then size and sectors we're gonna do a hundred megabytes so type two zero four eight zero zero and then for hex code or GUID we're gonna do EF zero two now for the disk name just press enter that doesn't matter now for the rest of the spe free space we're gonna hit new and just spam enter now click on right and it will ask you to type yes and um, now you just select quit so now that we've done that you will get a screen that looks like this um, now we did um, we're going to select SDA2 now because we did the BIOS drive first and then we're going to do EST4 do you want to format the partition SDA2? yes and now it will format SDA2 Oh, look, my cat's over here. Hello. Hello, kitty.
Bye bye, kitty. Okay, now that's done formatting, it will ask, do you want to install EFI Grub 2? Select yes. Now, um, it says cannot, if this happens, this has not happened to me before, but if you, this is the first time this has happened to me, but if it says cannot mount dev SDA1, do you want to format it? Select yes. That was weird. Now, if it asks you to install system directory, click on yes. Now it will, now it's writing, um, now it's installing Android x86. Okay, once this is done, it will be done in a second, it will go syncing folders, or not syncing folders, syncing to disk. And then once that's done, it will ask you if you want to boot to a boot X, um, Android x86, which will boot the live CD, or reboot. We're going to select reboot. Okay, now, um, while it's rebooting, just remove the USB drive, and now we're done with that. So, let me take this away. Here we go. Now, you'll get a grub thing. Um, if you'd like to go into debug mode, de debug, debug mode, um, select the down arrow and press enter, um, but we don't want that, so we're just going to press enter, or you can wait five seconds. Um, I moved the arrow, so it didn't wait five seconds. So now it will boot Android. Now this part actually takes the longest, and it's booting into Android. This OS, in my opinion, takes forever to boot. Like, it can... Windows would... Windows booting is a lot faster than this, so keep that in mind. Okay, um, now when it's done, you will get um, a screen that looks like this. So, um, this get started button right here, you're going to want to click that. Um, then this, you're going to click on set up as new. And then for your Wi-Fi, um, you can log into that. How, one second, I want to, let me type in my Wi-Fi password. Okay, so once you're done typing in your Wi-Fi password, it will be adding some finishing touches. It says this may take a minute or two. So, yeah. Don't make a cup of tea or something. <laughs> um, sometimes you'll get this Google Play services is stopped. If this happens, just hit escape. Um, okay, now it will, um, now it's, um, you will need to log into Google. Let me do this really quickly. Because I don't want to show out my Gmail email. I'm fine with my Technic one, but I don't, I don't want anyone to get my Gmail email. Because it was signed up with my full name. So if you, if you email it, then you'll get my full name. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Now you just need to agree to Google's terms of services here. I'm not going to move the camera up because then it would show my email. Um, so just hit accept, accept right here. Um, accept. And then now it's checking info. Um, then it will ask you um, which Google services would you like to turn on. So I'm going to do turn off automatically backup device, use Google location services, don't really want that, approval, and then help improve Android experience, because I don't want to get spied on, you know. I think that's reasonable. Okay. I think it's going to show my email again. Now it says just a second. This may take a minute or two. <laughs> this part takes a while.
Okay. Now, um, here are a few settings you can set up. Um, review additional apps doesn't work. And on body detection, I don't think you want. So, unless you want on body detection, you can click on that. But I'm just going to click on setup later. Now, for set a home app, you're going to want to click taskbar and then click on always. Um, because Otherwise, it would just be like using stock Android instead of Bliss OS. There, you have successfully installed Bliss OS. Now, we're going to want to fix one thing, one issue. Or, two issues, actually. First, you're going to want to move your cursor up to the status bar, and you're going to want to open the control center thing. Now, click on auto-rotate and it, so that it changes to landscape mode. Now, you can double-tap escape, or triple-tap escape. Um, now, now that we've done that, um, we're going to want to g open up settings. Um, so open this up. We're going to want to open up settings and do two things. So settings. Um, the, this step is optional, these two steps, but they make the experience better. If you want, you can resize the settings. Um, or move it so or you can full screen it like this so um, you're going to want to click this search button thing right here search it button um, it's over here you're gonna want to click that miss the click whoops sorry for it being blurry but you're gonna want to click that and you're going to want to search for mouse so now for the results you're going to want to select mouse and trackpad right here and then down here as you can see pointer speed we're going to want to click on that so by default I think the mouse is way too sensitive so we're going to push that down a little bit well, this is good so now once you've pushed it down to your likings this is perfect for me just click OK and now this part is a little bit tricky to do <laughs> gonna go back to settings and um going to go down here to Super SU. This will add more features to it. So it is kind of backwards, but if we didn't do that option from Control Center earlier, um, if we close this, then it would stay like this. That's why we did that option earlier, so that after we do this app, it's still in landscape mode. So to get this, you're going to want to navigate to Start. It's kind of hard, I know, but... So basically moving down on your trackpad goes to the right, going up goes to the left, going to going to the right goes um, up, and going to the left goes down. That's how you navigate this. Here we go. If it says it needs to be updated, just click continue, then normal. Now, so now it will be installing. This may take a while once again, so I'll fast forward. Okay, sorry, I took so long, I grabbed a slice of pizza. But, installation success. Now, click on reboot. This time, it probably won't take as long to boot. Okay, as you can see, it's done booting now. <coughs> it was a lot faster this time. Okay. Um, now, we're pretty much done. Um, thanks for watching this video. Anyways, see you later. Bye.